Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. takes great pleasure in presenting the United States Marine Corps Battle Color Ceremony. The units featured include the Commandant's Own United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon, and the official Marine Corps Color Guard. This ceremony celebrates the pride, professionalism, and esprit de corps that are hallmarks of the United States Marines. They represent all Marines around the globe who embody our Corps' values of honor, courage, and commitment. Your applause during the ceremony is most welcomed and is appreciated by every participating Marine. Today's ceremony will be under the command of Captain Nicholas McGuire of Chester, New Jersey. In our ceremony with a performance by the Commandant's Own United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps. This year we highlight the talent and proficiency of many individual members and sections within the unit. Our virtuosic journey through the world's musical history includes Festive Overture by Dmitry Shostakovich, Tom Sawyer by Rush, Time to Say Goodbye made famous by Andrea Bocelli, Brooklyn by Youngblood Brass Band, and the Dies Irae from Giuseppe Verdi's Requiem. Music in Motion 2022 will close with John Philip Sousa's most famous composition and our national march, The Stars and Stripes Forever. The commanding officer of the Drum and Bugle Corps is Captain Nate Morris of Marietta, Georgia. The drum major is Master Sergeant Joshua Dannemiller of Doylestown, Ohio. We hope you enjoy our 2022 performance of Music in Motion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant's Own, United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant's Own, United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
The Marines before you represent over seven decades of marching and rifle drill precision, premiering at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. during the Sunset Parades of 1948. These Marines perform their precision drill in hundreds of public appearances throughout the United States and abroad each year. In addition, they represent the Marine Corps at numerous ceremonies in the National Capital Area, honoring visiting dignitaries and heads of state. Comprised of infantry Marines, the Silent Drill Platoon executes its sequence without cadence or verbal command. The M1 rifles they carry with fixed bayonets weigh in excess of 10 and 1 half pounds. Representing Marines around the world, the Silent Drill Platoon demonstrates the finest in Marine professionalism, esprit de corps, and marching precision. The platoon sergeant is Staff Sergeant Henry Truzy III from Louisa, Virginia. The platoon rifle inspector is Corporal Blake Behrens of Tulsa, Oklahoma.
Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the colors and the playing of our national anthem. Marine Corps color guard before you is unique. Flanked by two Marine riflemen, the 40th Color Sergeant of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Cameron Williams from Jacksonville, Florida, carries our national flag, 
while the Marine to his left carries the official battle color of the Marine Corps. The 55 streamers and silver bands displayed with the battle color commemorate the military campaigns in which the Marines have participated. They span the entire history of our nation, from the Revolutionary War to the present. Decorated with palms, oak leaf clusters, and stars, they represent more than 400 awards and campaigns of the United States Marines. It is the privilege of Marine Barracks Washington, D.C., the oldest post of the Corps, to be entrusted with the custody of this battle color. Ladies and gentlemen, our reviewing official for this ceremony is the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, Brigadier General Jason L. Morris. Joining Brigadier General Morris in the reviewing area is the Sergeant Major of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, Sergeant Major Abel T. Liao. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for honors to Brigadier General Morris. Please be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony will close with remarks from the Commanding General for Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Please welcome Brigadier General Jason L. Morris. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and our centennial celebration here a few months after our actual centennial, which happened on the 1st of December, 2021. But this is the first opportunity that we've had, and we thought we'd make it a very special event by having the Marine Barracks Washington Battle Colors Detachment here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them another round of applause for a great performance. What a tremendous show they put on. Fighting through a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and I guess the uh, most intense San Diego winter one could deliver here. So we are truly blessed uh, by having a great location and obviously great weather. It always follows uh, a brief spell of rain and wind. So I want to thank a few people here today first. First to the Marines from my staff, from the Recruit Training Regiment, from Headquarters and Service Battalion, everyone that came together yesterday, this week, to make sure that this event would take place and be so professionally done. I want to say thanks for your efforts behind the scenes to make this happen. The next group I'd like to thank, yeah, let's give them all a round of applause. All these Marines that are dressed up. Okay, is that better? All right, <laughs> technology. All right, a, uh, really appreciate all the hard work of all the Marines here in uniform that volunteered or were voluntold uh, to be out here to support. And I do wanna welcome all of you Marines, families of Marines, friends of the depot, and just other people, citizens of San Diego for coming out here today. Uh, what a great opportunity. We had this opportunity to bring the Battle Colors Detachment out, and I wanted to make sure that we put a real fine point on the fact that this centennial is cause for celebration, not just for the Marine Corps, but for the city of San Diego, for the county of San Diego, and for Southern California writ large. So these Marines, uh, as the narrator stated, Commandant's own Drum and Bugle Corps, our silent drill platoon, and the Commandant's own color guard uh, traveled out here to Yuma where they do their annual training and were nice enough to come down here and get a little bit of San Diego hospitality and good weather. It's the first sandstorm I've seen on this parade deck since I've been here in eight months. So, gents, I hope uh, we'll make it up to you this afternoon and tonight on your visit, but thanks again for being out here. So in 1915, Colonel Joseph Pendleton had a vision of a premier advance base for the United States Marine Corps in Southern California. Over the next six years, his efforts, along with the support of Congressman William Kettner, secured the funding to build this depot that you see in front of you. From building one down there by the base theater all the way through building seven, building eight, the world famous arcade that was built starting in 1919 until 1921. And on the 1st of December of 1921, 
this Marine Corps Base San Diego open for business. And really that's what we're here today to celebrate, is the fact that for the last 100 years, Marines have operated and trained and prepared for whatever the future might hold here at MCRD San Diego. At the time, as I said, it was an advanced base. It was called Marine Base San Diego. It wasn't until 1948 that it was actually renamed Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. But since 1921, Marines have operated here. This is the first place they were formally in San Diego. And two years later, in 1923, recruit training moved down here from Mare Island up in the Bay Area. And since that time, we have consistently produced United States Marines here until, at the last count, over 1.5 million United States Marines have graduated from this very parade deck. Yeah, let's give our Marine Corps a round of applause. Hoorah. And so those Marines, over the last 100 years, have gone forth to fight in every campaign that the Marine Corps has been associated with since 1921. From the Banana Wars in the Central America era and, and, or area and Caribbean, to World War II, to Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and those Marines that currently float aboard ship and are deployed in harm's way, ready to, ready to do our nation's bidding and defend America and our people and our interests, one and a half million plus have graduated right here from MCRD San Diego. So I'm gonna cut my comments there. I just wanna say thanks for coming out. Thanks for allowing us to celebrate with the Battle Colors Detachment. Thanks for braving this tough San Diego winter and showing up to both pay our respects to the, the world's finest fighting organization and really the Marine Corps' epitome of professionalism, precision, discipline on the parade deck, our Battle Colors Detachment. So with that, I'm gonna conclude. And I think at this point, we're gonna have an opportunity for you all and I wanna make sure before I give you the go ahead that we're good to go. Uh, you can all go out and meet the Battle Colors Detachment on the parade deck. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for joining me here today. Have a wonderful centennial anniversary and Semper Fidelis. Are we good? All right, no one's telling me no. So let's go ahead and welcome uh, our Battle Colors Detachment here, hoorah. Thank <laughs> you.